Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. The channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're talking about tool wall organization. So let's talk about OmniWall. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long-time subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a friendly reminder, we are running a tool giveaway, so be sure you check out the link down below to figure out how you could win $3,700 of tools. So guys, right behind me is a product I've been using for a little over a year and a half now. This system here is called OmniWall. I have a six-part video series before I redid my garage about how to install these, all the different options and layouts you can do from using it as storage, to tool organization, socket storage, and a whole bunch more. So if you wanna see an in-depth install video, be sure you check out the link up top. It's been nearly six months since I redid my garage for a second time. And obviously, having power tools at the ready is a must in a garage, especially when you're working on cars or maintaining your house. I don't wanna go digging through cabinets to find different tools, and I definitely don't wanna grab tools when there are no batteries charged. That's where OmniWall came into play for me. Right here is my OmniWall system, as well as my DeWalt Power Tool Storage Organization system. Up top, you can see I have my battery charging station. There's always batteries charging here, as well as once they're charged, I just move them to the right. Then I have my four different power tools. I have an impact driver, a drill, a half inch impact, and then a hammer drill. Right below that, we have a right angle drill, a sawzall, an angle grinder, a multi-tool, a jigsaw, a circle saw, and then on the bottom there, you have a vacuum. Now, everything is easily accessible and easy to find, even if, for instance, someone was here and I asked them to grab me the impact or the sawzall or so on. You can easily see it and it's nicely organized. Now, this is how I chose to set up one of my Omni walls in my garage, but let's go into the details detailed specs about OmniWall. So firstly, you can get the OmniWall back panel in three different sizes. You can get a 16 by 32 inch. You can have that vertically or horizontally. Another section you can get is a five by 48 inch. That is a long, narrow piece for, let's say you wanna hang brooms or different lawn equipment. And then finally, they have 16 by 16 inch panels, and that normally comes with a, a organizer for screws, bolts, and so on. Another great thing about OmniWall is, as you can see in my garage, I'm going with a black and gray color combination, and so is my OmniWall. But OmniWall comes in six different colors. You can get OmniWall in black, blue, orange, red, gray, and white to fit any one of your design needs. What's great about OmniWall is you see my design layout here, but they actually have over 60 different accessories that attach to the back wall, giving you the opportunity to design over a thousand different layouts for your needs. Now with all those different accessories, sometimes it may be overwhelming to figure out what you actually need. But don't worry, OmniWall has thought of that too, and they have pre-designed 10 different layouts for you. Now guys, as I mentioned before, I have a whole install series, about six different videos going over OmniWall. If you wanna check those out and see if OmniWall is right for you, be sure you check out that link. But also, I have a special deal for you today. If you go to OmniWallUSA.com and use the coupon code GASTAX, you'll save some money on your next purchase. But guys, as always, if you have any questions about OmniWall, please leave them in the comments below. But thanks a lot for tuning in and be sure you like, subscribe, and share if you found this information helpful. Until next time guys, I'll see you then.